Okay, everybody, it's me, Randy Brown, again for the Memory Series. This is part three. And uh, for all you uh, geologists out there, uh, I'm going to show you an easy way to remember the Mohs hardness scale. Okay? Now, one thing you need to know is you need to go to my first video in the Memory Training Series. And uh, if you're not familiar with what's known as the peg words, go to uh, the first video in this series and check it out because the peg words are going to help you out here okay now the peg words as we established in the link are tie noah ma rai law shoe cow ivy bee toes all right now one thing about them this is a little bit on the peg system is that each one of these items i asked you to remember have a numerical value like Tie is one, or shoe is six, or uh, cow is seven. Okay? Now, if you remembered your peg words, which I'm assuming you did, and like I said, if you didn't, go back to the first video, but if you remembered your peg words, here's where they come into play. All right? Now, on the most hardness scale, you've got talc, uh, gypsum, uh, calcite, fluorite, uh, it's either opalite or apatite, because there's two different, uh, there's two different ones. We're going to go with apatite. Uh, there's orthoclast, there's quartz, there's topaz, there's corundum, and uh, diamond. Okay, so those are the ten. Now, those are the ten uh, things on the scale of hardness, and that's in order. Okay, so now that you know your peg words and you know which numbers they are, you can link the peg word to the first uh, word that you have. And like I said, using the substitute word system, which was lesson two, uh, you are going to be able to remember all the elements on the most hardness scale. Okay, so here we go. Now, you remember the first peg word was tie. And the first, uh, the first uh, scale on the most hardness scale, the first thing, the first item is talc. Now, how do you remember this? Well, I can't remember talc. Well, you try about, how about talcum powder? Imagine putting talcum powder on a tie. Okay, next up is gypsum. And the second word in the peg system is Noah. So, and also, I learned this in National Geographic, gypsy comes from the, from the word Egyptian. But you didn't know that. And, okay, so we're going to picture a gypsy mingling with Noah. Picture a gypsy on Noah's Ark. All right? And then next up is calcite. Now, here's how I remember this. The third word on the peg system is ma. So I just picture my ma with a calculator. See, calc is, calcite is spelled C-A-L-C, which is the first four letters in calculator. Okay, and the fifth pet word is law. And the fifth uh, thing on the scale is appetite. And imagine a lawman gets really hungry and he goes to have a sandwich to satisfy his appetite. Okay? The sixth word is shoe. Now this one's really easy because the, uh, the, the, the word we're supposed to remember is orthoclass. Now you could picture an orthopedic shoe taking a class. Orthoclass. Okay, next up, the peg word for seven is cow. Okay, and the, the next, uh, the next uh, word is quartz. Okay, so just picture a quartz cow with like, you know, and you're milking the cow and like quartz is coming out of its udders. Okay, next up, eight is ivy. And uh, like... And the word that comes after uh, 
quartz is topaz. So just imagine like a big ivy bush sprouting topaz flowers or something. Okay. And uh, next up, here's what we're going to have to use our substitute word system for. It's corundum. Now, when I think of corundum, I think of conundrum. And like the symbol I most associate with conundrum is a question mark. And then uh, the peg word for nine is B. So, uh, so I would picture a B or maybe a bunch of Bs making a question mark. So B, number nine, reminds me of conundrum or corundum. And then last up, it's pretty easy. Toes is the peg word for ten. And I just picture a bunch of diamonds on my toes because diamond is the hardest element in the Mohs hardness scale. So now that you've memorized your peg words and you know which numbers they are, you can tell a person what number on the hardness scale is by just going through it. So, you know, like uh, ortho class is number six because. Uh, Ortho class is shoe, and shoe is, means six. And then, uh, and then like uh, corundum, you know that's that's B, and B was number nine. And uh, see, so like one thing you got to keep in mind, you got you want to watch the other videos. This I'm putting these in order for a reason. So so that's basically it is. So if you remember your peg words, one is tie, two is Noah. 3 is ma, 4 is rye, 5 is law, uh, 6 is shoe, 7 is cow, 8 is ivy, 9 is bee, and 10 is toes. Now, this is all going to come into play a little bit later on. Like I said, I'm doing these in order. But now we know the Mohs hardness scale. We've got talc, gypsum, uh, calcite, um, uh, fluorite, um, apatite, orthoclass, uh, quartz, topaz, corundum, and, uh, diamonds. So there you go. And I, we've remembered them all, and we've done it in less than eight minutes. Thank you.